Donald Trump has blood on his hands. The state of Arizona, where my parents still live in the neighborhood that I grew up in, aggressively reopened on May 15th, really without any sort of guidance, uh, provisions to keep people safe. And the governor there even went a step further to prevent local municipalities from creating their own safety measures. The mayor of Phoenix was desperately wanting a mask mandate, but couldn't uh, get one passed because it would go beyond the governor's wishes. I want to encourage people to get out and about, to take a loved one to dinner, to go retail shopping. If you don't have an underlying health condition, it's safe out there. Once those misleading messages really started to leave the governor's office, you know, I lost my ability to really compete. And my dad, you know, went out with a couple of friends to catch up and, you know, our conversations around that, because I was saying, dad, it's, it's not safe to be out there. And he, um, you know, his response was like, well, Kristen, I hear what you're saying, but why would the governor say if it's safe if it's, if it's not? Um, and, you know, within three weeks of the state reopening, my dad, woke up with the fever. Some of the conversations that I had with my dad uh, while he was getting sick um, was, you know, trying to engage him on just how he was thinking about Ducey and President Trump. My dad, my dad was a lifelong Republican. I mean, we hardly ever agreed on anything politically, but, you know, we always engaged on, on the different topics. And, you know, he told me he felt betrayed and sideswiped, um, you know, the information that he got, I mean, he, in times of crisis, we're told to listen and follow direction from our leaders. That's what he did. And it ended up being a death sentence for him. He didn't have any underlying health conditions that we knew of. Uh, he was 65, um, but he was exuberant guy, um, you know, all throughout high school and in his twenties, he was huge, um, active athlete, um, and, you know, very active um, individual uh, later on in life as well. You know, he wasn't a smoker, he didn't have asthma. Um, you know, he would not have considered himself somebody who would be in that risk category. And to give a little bit more context too, it's, you know, my his father, my grandfather lived to be 91 years old. His aunt is still alive, she's 90 years old. He has another cousin um, that's like 96 years old. So like people also in my family live to be really old. My dad did not consider himself old by any means. One of the last things that my father said to me was that he felt betrayed by the likes of Donald Trump. And so when I cast my vote for Joe Biden, I will do it for my dad.